Hi, I'm Gillian Woollett. I'm Senior Vice President and Head of the FDA Practice here at Avalier Health. And we've just written a paper, Clinical Trials in the Development of Biosimilars Future Considerations, along with Brenda Honeycutt and Earl Gillespie. What are biosimilars? Biosimilars are subsequent versions of biologics that have already been approved by the same regulatory authority. And biologics are those medicines made in living systems. Okay. Why do they matter? They matter because just like generic drugs provided competition in the drug space and allowed greater access and affordability, so biosimilars are expected to provide greater access and affordability in those markets with those innovator biologics. And Europe is the lead in the generation of biosimilars, and this paper is summarizing those biosimilars already approved in Europe that we also expect to be made available elsewhere in the world. Can you give a little more detail about what the paper is about and why it's useful? So the paper summarizes all of the biosimilars approved in Europe since 2006. It's a great reference for anybody wanting to know what's available and the basis on which they've been approved. And we summarize somatropins, filgrastins, epoetin alphas, and then the latest are a couple of monoclonal antibodies. Who should read it? Everybody should read it, of course, but it's a useful reference paper. We did it as a review, so it's a resource and provides complete links to all of the original sources for anybody interested in biosimilars, and particularly those interested in what's already available in Europe and likely to be available in the highly regulated market shortly. What will they learn the most? What they'll learn from this paper is why biosimilars and the basis of their regulatory approval is different from that of originator products that have to establish safety and efficacy a priori. For biosimilars, you're matching a previously approved product and it's based on an analytical match much akin to comparability for manufacturing changes. So this regulatory construct is fundamentally different and yet uses all the experience that both regulators and sponsors have with the originator products. How can one reach out if they have additional questions? If anyone has any questions about biosimilars, we'll be happy to answer them as the authors on this paper and you can email me anytime, gwoolett at avalier.com. Thank you, Gillian. Thank you.